Hey guys, welcome back to Tank Garage. My name is Frank, Mech is the man behind the camera, and in today's video, we are finally gonna be doing the first modifications on the S60R. Before the video starts, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any content from Tank Garage. All right guys, so super excited today. The build series on the S60R begins. We are gonna be starting with the air intake since this is pretty much the easiest thing that we can do. We don't need to tune the car afterwards. The only thing we're not gonna do that's part of the intake kit is the mass airflow sensor since we would need to tune the vehicle after and we're gonna wait to finish everything completely and then tune the vehicle just once. So like you guys saw in the build introduction video, we decided to go with a snab air intake coming with an AEM filter. So all of these parts, we're gonna be replacing the factory air filter. Like you guys saw in the previous videos, we are running open air box at the moment. It is still gonna be an open air box, but with way better flow and way better cooling. So first off, it's pretty much straightforward. You wanna remove all the bolts that are connecting the air box right here. There's a couple of bolts that we see over here in the back and in the middle. Then you wanna remove all the clamps and all of the vacuum hoses going towards the turbo inlet. And from that on, it's pretty much straightforward. Take everything out. We're not gonna take too many videos of explaining how. We're pretty much gonna bang everything in and out, but you guys will get some sweet B-rolls. All right, so all of the old air intake is currently out. When we removed uh, the most important part, which goes directly to the turbo, as you guys can see, yeah, this is not too good. This is pretty, pretty messed up, and this is what was directly the inlet to the turbo. So boost leak, hot air going into the turbo, which probably resulted in a loss of performance. As you guys can see down there, everything is currently out and we're ready to install the new one. The last thing we have to do before we do install the new one, I'll show you guys right here, is the old sensor, which we're gonna reuse this part right here. You see there's a grommet right over here. There's the same grommet on this side. We have to cut this piece and we're gonna have to sand down the grommet here so that it fits perfectly flush inside of the hosing right here so that everything fits flush just like this, but on the other side. So uh, let's get right into it. All right, so the sensor is all nice and placed. We have the clamp there. So the smaller side is gonna go right towards the turbo inlet and the bigger side is gonna go towards the air intake. We're gonna flip everything back in. Um, after we install all of that, we're also gonna cut down our PCV lines uh, right here and we're gonna make sure that everything is nice and tittied up because the old owner didn't really do a good job at you know lining everything up and we wanna do the thing perfectly the first time so that we don't have to redo it two or three times. All right guys, we are absolutely drained right now. It is super late at night. We finally got everything put in, the air inlet, everything is currently in. All we're missing is the air box with the air filter. This was way harder than we thought because the old owner actually did this really, really badly. All these wirings for the vacuum lines and everything were horribly made and we had to redo everything. So very late at night and we're trying to bang everything in to give you guys a final result. All right guys, so we finally finished, well, kind of. We had the wrong silicone housing inside of the kit, so we couldn't install the full air box since it wouldn't fit. Um, the silicone housing we had to use from another R that we have here. Um, so we got pretty lucky that we had that part or else the car was just here for the rest of the night. So it looks kind of like a jobber, you know, it's just hanging there, but uh, we're gonna take time in another uh, day to finalize everything once we do get the good uh, coupler, the good silicone housing. All right, so now we're gonna do a couple of sound clips for you guys to see how it sounds after we installed everything. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any upload from Tank Garage. See ya, boys.